Welcome into the BTN Student League preview show for men's soccer. I'm Eddie Cotton alongside me, Josh Eastern. And the Hoosiers just pulled out a 1 0 victory in a massive matchup against Michigan thanks to a goal by Reese Buckmaster. So, Josh, what were kind of the keys that, that pushed Indiana forward in that matchup? Well, they really dominated throughout that match. Michigan had some good chances after Indiana scored, but it just felt like a goal was coming there from Indiana. And it really didn't feel like they were ever going to break in the back. It was just a really full 90 minutes that they put together on the road at Michigan, which is very tough to do with the conference game, especially coming on the heels of that loss at Kentucky. But Coach Todd Yeagley said he wanted a big game after that loss. They got a big game, and they went out one. It's a big game, no question. I mean, Maryland is a team that's um, you know been tough for us, no, no doubt. They're a tournament-level team. You know, if we're able to get significant points again on Friday, then we're sitting in a really good spot with three games left. And um, in, in this conference, there's crazy things that happen. So every week, who you think is anticipated to get a victory is not always the case. We've seen that already this year. So all we can do is, is focus on us. But yeah, three points would go a heck of a long way to keep us in, a, in, a, in the pole position. Thanks to that win against Michigan, the Hoosiers are on their best start in Big Ten play since 2000. Or just how meaningful is it for Indiana to have gotten out to such a hot start? Well, I think, especially after last year, not earning a trophy, a piece of hardware, something physical, some just physical representation of, of, of accomplishing something. They didn't get that last year. They're on their way to it this year. They control their own destiny on the Big Ten. We got Maryland, Rutgers, Ohio State, Michigan State. So four more games. That Michigan State game could eventually probably be for the conference title at the end of the year. But they just got to keep on rolling right now. They're playing a good brand of soccer, especially in the conference. They have to keep that up to, to finally get that streak. So they're on a hot streak. They're keeping it rolling, and they're rolling into a huge game against Maryland, the national rival for this program. What are your expectations for the Hoosiers take on Maryland? Well, it's it's been a fun matchup in the past. Well, the last four matchups have all been draws. So however you, you look at that, it, it's a little bit interesting. But anytime these two teams play, it's going to be a fun matchup. Two, two years ago, here in Bloomington, was a fun match. Last year went to overtime. Indiana almost stole one on the road. Eventual draw, though. Um, but it's going to be a fun matchup. Anytime Maryland and Indiana get together, it's, it's, it's a high-profile match. Maryland's been a, a national rival of ours, you know, pre-Big Ten um, years. And now that they're in the conference, I mean, we played them in battle games. I mean, conference finals, semifinals, going to penalty kicks. I mean, more overtimes than not, I would have guessed, in the last, you know, four or five outings. So I think if, if fans want to see two really talented teams go at it and kind of a showcase for college soccer, certainly Friday is a great night to come out. And they're, they're going to thoroughly enjoy the game. So with a huge matchup against the Maryland Terrapins, Josh, what are your expectations for how this game's going to go out? Well, like I was just saying, it, it's going to be a fun matchup. But this Maryland team has struggled to put the ball in the back of the That's what uh, Yeagley was talking about. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see if they can finally do that. They have a very good center back in Donovan Pines, Maryland does. Um, so he's going to be a, a big part in this matchup. I think Justin Rennicks is going to play a big part as well. If Indiana can break through early, I think it's going to be really tough for Maryland to come back. They just don't really have those pieces like a Gordon Wild or an Eric Williamson that they have in the past to really, uh, I think, challenge this Indiana team too much. Well, that works for me, and that works for the BTN Student U preview show. Tune in 7.30 on Friday as Indiana takes on Maryland. I'll be on the call. Josh will be on the call. Love Lydia Nolan on the sideline. It'll be a fun one.